हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट फॉरेस्ट ग्रासलैंड्स एंड श्रब्स फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स ऑफ जोग्राफी दैट इज नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन रेफर्स टू अ प्लांट कम्युनिटी व्हिच हैज ग्रोन नेचुरली विदाउट ह्यूमन हेल्प इट गेट्स वॉट इट नीड्स फ्रॉम इट्स नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट विद द चेंज इन हाइट the climatic condition changes and that changes natural vegetation the growth of vegetation depends on temperature and moisture it also depends on factors like slope and thickness of soil the type and thickness of natural vegetation also varies from place to place due to variation by these factors Natural vegetation is divided into three broad categories they are forests grasslands and shrubs forest a forest is a large area of land covered with trees or other woody vegetation it is a place where temperature and rainfall are plentiful to support a tree cover there are different types of forests they are tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest temperate evergreen forest temperate deciduous forest mediterranean vegetation and coniferous forest first we'll talk about the tropical evergreen forest these are also called tropical rainforests and found in the regions near the equator and close to the tropics these regions are hot and receive heavy rainfall throughout the year trees of these forests do not shed their leaves altogether thus they are called evergreen the thick canopies of the closely spaced trees do not allow the sunlight to penetrate inside the forest even in day time hardwood trees like rosewood ebony and mahogany are common here different types of insects birds and reptiles are found here anaconda one of the world's largest snake is found in the tropical rainforest tropical deciduous forest tropical deciduous are also called as monsoon forests found in the large part of india northern australia and in central america these regions experience seasonal changes trees shed their leaves in the dry season to conserve water sal teak neem and shisham are hardwood trees found in these forests these trees are very useful for making furniture transport and other constructional materials tigers lions elephants langurs and monkeys are the common animals of these regions next we'll talk about the temperate evergreen forests these forests are located in the mid latitudinal coastal region for example in southeast usa south china and in southeast brazil oak pine eucalyptus etc are found in this forest which comprises of hard and soft wood temperate deciduous forest these forests are found in the north eastern part of usa china new zealand and child and also found in the coastal regions of western europe trees of these forests shed their leaves in the dry season the common trees are oak ash beech etc deer foxes wolves are the common animals found here birds like pheasants monels are also found here Mediterranean vegetation it is mostly found in the areas around the Mediterranean Sea in Europe Africa and Asia and also found outside the actual Mediterranean region in California in the USA 
साउथ वेस्ट अफ्रीका साउथ वेस्टर्न साउथ अमेरिका एंड साउथ वेस्ट ऑस्ट्रेलिया सिट्रस फ्रूट्स सच एज ऑरेंजेस फिग्स ऑलिवस एंड ग्रेप्स आर कॉमनली कल्टिवेटेड हियर दैट इज वाई इट इज पॉपुलरली पॉपुलरली नोन एज ऑर्चर्ड्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पीपल हैव रिमूव्ड द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन इन ऑर्डर टू कल्टिवेट दीज सिट्रस फ्रूट्स सो देर इज नॉट मच वाइल्ड लाइफ फाउंड हियर दीज रीजन्स रिसीव हॉट ड्राई समर्स एंड माइल्ड रेनी विंटर्स मेडिटेरेनियन ट्रीज अडाप्ट दमसेल्व टू ड्राई समर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर थिक बाग्स एंड वैक्स कोटेड लीव्स विच हेल्प दैम रेड्यूस ट्रांसपीरेशन now the next we'll talk about the coniferous forests these forests are found in the higher latitudes of northern hemisphere and also seen in the higher altitudes of other areas like himalayas so it is also called as taiga trees of these forests are tall softwood evergreen trees the woods of these trees are very useful for making pulp which is used for manufacturing paper and newsprint and also match boxes and packing boxes chair pine cedar are the important variety of trees in these forests animals like silver fox mink polar bear are commonly found here now we'll talk about the grasslands grasslands are areas where the vegetation is dominated by grasses and bushes grasslands of the world can be divided into two types tropical grasslands and temperate grasslands tropical grasslands are found on either side of the equator and extends till the tropics where there is moderate to low amount of rainfall the grass can grow very tall about 3 to 4 meter in height woody plants shrubs or trees can also be seen here tropical grasslands are known by different names in different parts of the world they are known as savanna in east africa campos in brazil and llanos in venezuela the main animals found here are elephants zebras giraffe lion and leopards temperate grasslands these are found in the mid latitudinal zones and in the interior part of the continents it is located in colder climate regions and receives less rainfall temperate grasslands are known by different names in different regions such as pampas in argentina prairie in north america veld in south africa steppe in central asia and down in australia grasses are short and nutritious here wild buffaloes bison antelopes are some of the common animals which are found here now we'll talk about the shrubs thorny shrubs and scrubs are found in the dry and polar regions shrubs can be divided into two types thorny bushes and tundra vegetation first we'll talk about the thorny shrubs thorny shrubs are found in the dry desert like regions such as tropical deserts that are located on the western margins of the continents the vegetation cover is scarce here because of scanty rain and scorching heat some of the common animals of these regions are camels lizard kangaroo mouse and tarantula next we'll talk about tundra vegetation these are found in polar regions of europe asia and north america vegetation is very limited mosses lichens and very small shrubs are found here 
it grows during the very short summer the animals found here have thick fur and thick skin to protect themselves from the cold climatic conditions seal walruses musk oxen arctic owl polar bear and snow foxes are some of the animals which are found here so with this we have come to an end of this video in the next video we'll continue with a new chapter thank you